Canterbury Cycle and Canterbury Sydney Bulldogs, if you want to call them that. And one of their stars joins us right now, Jonathan Timu. Good on you, John. <laughs> Tell us about the game, John. Uh, 30 nil at half time. It was all over Red Rover. What, uh, just no resistance there by the Buns? Yeah, you know, I mean, uh, it's hard. It's hard to. To say what what the South guys feel when they turn up to training and when they turn up every week, um, it'll be difficult. You know, we've been struggling this year, um, the Bulldogs, and uh, you know when we drop a couple of games, it's uh, you know everyone gets down. But I, I think South's in a sort of a funny predicament when they sort of go out every week, sort mm. of thinking you know well here we go again. I suppose but only having won four games all season, a bit hard for the Bunnies to be concentrating at this stage. Yeah, exactly. They'll get better over the years. Well, who was your best player last night? Um, for us, I think um, Darren, Darren Britt had a had an excellent game. Doesn't you know, he, he play a week in, week out? He's just he's the playing. best, one of your best uh, in yeah. your top three. He's, he's just a workhorse, and uh, you know he he enjoys his footy and he gets out there and uh, and does the job. Mm. John, tell me just quickly, you you uh, you switched over from Rugby Union, the All Blacks winning the Bledisloe Cup yesterday. Has the league been everything that you thought it'd be? Oh, definitely, Blocker. You know. Um, just watching it from back home in New Zealand, you know, we get quite a bit of the Winfield Cup back in New Zealand and uh, it looks hard and uncompromising uncom and, uh, you know, that's that's what I expected and that's what I'm getting. Have you had a chance to speak to anyone in New Zealand, John, about the the rugby, world rugby circus or whatever it is? Is it big news over there, like the Super League stuff was when it started over here? Yeah, it is. Uh, you know, um, right. you know the, the All Blacks are over here at the moment. They had the Blazer Cup yesterday, but um, it's a wee bit uh, like the... Uh, like what was happening over here for a couple of months with the Super League ARL sort of war. It's, uh, you know, players back home in New Zealand are getting contracts thrown in front of them. There's a lot of uncertainty. So, uh, you know, it's going to be a, a wee bit up in the air for the next month or two. The uh, word, the word on everyone's lips, rugby union, is, is Lomu. He's a big man with big legs and that, and he's very fast. Do you think he'd handle rugby league? Uh, I think, uh, you know, Jonah is a, is a top athlete and he's playing awesome at the moment for the All Blacks. And, uh, I think the thing that he'd find uh, if he did go and play league is that, uh, you know, I, I, I'd, I'd say that a lot of the league players can tackle a lot, lot better than in, in rugby. And so one on one, um, guys would probably drop um, Jonah. But um, I still reckon you know, he'd be a star. I, I think yeah. he'd be a sensational rugby league player. Oh, he'd be a star for sure. But I reckon if rugby mm -hmm. union backs went out and learned to tackle, they might have some <laughs> chance of getting him. Um, so you made a couple of good breaks there. Your own form. You've been happy with it? Yeah, not not too bad, uh, Fatty. You know. Um, I sort of struggle with injury a wee bit through through this year, but um, I, I enjoy playing for the dogs and enjoy getting out on the paddock. And uh, you know, it was good to have a, a big win last night. You're still confident of giving a bit of cheek if you if you do make the top eight. I mean, you've got a lot of great players in your side. Yeah, well, yeah, you know, the talk with, within the team is that uh, you know they've they've had a, a, a chance in the in the previous years to uh, to go all the way and they haven't quite made it. So let's hope we can make it uh, into the top eight and go from go from maybe the, not having a, a The Bulldogs of. have been uh, one of the great clubs. Uh, in fact, they're known as the family club with uh, with the Bullfrog. They've, they've been a very strong club. Uh, with all this Super League drama, the, the Bulldogs were the club most affected by a lot of the uh, infighting dramas with the uh, ARL and Super League. Yeah, like it's been a big year for me, Murray. You know, it's my first year in league and, uh, you know, with all the Super League stuff that's going on and just the turbulent times with the Bulldogs. But, um, you know, I suppose we'll, we've just got to get through that. And uh, I thought we were on track and then we had a bit of a bad loss la last week to Wes and uh, it knocked us uh, back a wee bit. But, um, you know, hopefully we're back on track now and, uh, you know, we've got uh, some, uh, you know, every game is not easy, but, um, you know, every game's hard, but we've got a pretty good run towards the end of the season. So hopefully we can... Uh, we can pile it on at the most important time of the year. Did you watch the rugby yesterday? Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. Good win, I, great I a, win, wasn't it, to the Kiwis? I got a bit of flack when I turned up to the game uh, yesterday because uh, apparently there was a guy at the rugby uh, who looked similar to me and uh, he was carrying a tray of uh, tray of booze. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> so the players were having me on, thinking that I was at the Blizzard like Cup. Just, just, just your hairstyle, can you just describe that to me? <laughs> what sort of hairstyle uh, would you say that is? Bird's nest, they call it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, Mr. Yeah. Jill. Fair <laughs> have a look at you. <laughs> Oh, turn it up. Hey, I'll tell you what, I hear Sterlow, went up to Brisbane on Friday, there's a, a very good hair surgeon up there, they're going to implant his hair. Are they? He'll come back with it, a feather fall, <laughs> feathers everywhere. <laughs> well, John, you've had a great season. Uh, I'm just watching you personally, I think you're a great player and uh, you'll get better as the years go on. Please thank John for coming in for us. Thank you.